What up, y'all, and welcome to Upper State New York to Watkins Glen International for the fifth race in the 2024 FBRL Napa Truck Series season. On pole for the first time in his career is Jerry Cook in the number 62 Honda for single C racing. First career pole for Cook, looking to turn that into a first career win. He's joined by Ryan Reed on the front row, Zachary Fitzwater Jr. in row two with hometown driver. Griffin, Lapo McDermott, row three, Bradley Bishop Jr. and California winner Richard Johnson, Noah Hart, Lane Sanders, row four, Sanders with a road course win back in New Zealand a couple years ago, and the Coyote Auto, I'm sorry, Shark House performance teammates in William Brock and AJ Jones round out the top 10. You see DJ Curtis in the field for the first time this season for Freeze Racing Team. First of five scheduled attempts for DJ Curtis. As we get towards the midfield, you see Arya Carmona, who's got a Cleveland win in the Hardys National Series several years ago. Luke Martin, who we saw win here at Watkins Glen back in 2021 over Kyle Springer, uh, someone we <laughs> don't really mention anymore. JD Martin, known dark horse here at the road courses, starting in the mid pack for Little Falls Motorsports, a hometown track for Little Falls. We get deeper in the field. You've got more hometown drivers starting towards the rear, including the 25 driven by Jeff Bolton, who we have already passed. You see making the field today on provisionals, Ben McDonald, Benjamin Snyder, Angel Gutierrez, and Toby Christie. Let's go trackside for the command to fire engines. Drivers, start your engines! Windy day here at Watkins Glen, northwest wind of about 9 miles an hour, but clear, sunny skies. As we're gearing up for 32 laps of action, expecting it to be a two-stop race here today, unless someone can find the way to stretch it. 16 laps on gas, green flag is out, and we're underway here at the Glen. Hard into turn one, Jerry Cook with the advantage entering, but Ryan Reed with the run on his left side, looking to take the lead up the S's. So far, drivers remain side by side, but Ryan Reed will clear here as Fitzy Jr. gonna look to the right side of Cook, down the long straightaway. No bus stop here at the Glen this year. And a lot. A lot of passing opportunities are going to occur here down into the carousel corner as Fitzwater Jr. clears Jerry Cook for second place. So it's currently a freeze racing 1-2 on the racetrack down here in uh, turn five. This will be another prime passing opportunities. You see Cook looking to go right back by Fitzwater. 
for second place. As we got a bit of a blind spot here, but Cook right back in the second, closing in on Ryan Reed. Actually, that left hander back there, that was turn six. So seven turns here. Just went through turn one. Now gonna go up two, three, and four. Carousel is turn five. And you've got turn six and seven. As now Jerry Cook looking to take the race lead away from Ryan Reed here on lap number two. Fitzwater Jr., Griffin Label McDermott still heated in their battle for third place as they are single file behind them. Bradley Bishop Jr. in fifth known road course ace, followed by teammate Noah Hart, your California winner Richard Johnson. Lane Sanders, who we mentioned, got a win at New Zealand for single Z racing. That was back in 2022. Then AJ Jones and William Brock out of Shark House performance. They currently round out the top 10 as Cook and Reed still in a dog fight for the race lead here. These four drivers haven't really seen them qualify up at the front of the field much this year. Saw Griffin Label McDermott do so though last time out at California. And holding strong here so far as Noah Hart moves up into fifth. Bradley Bishop Jr. going to cross over his teammate looking to take that position back. A lot of tire wear here today. Series brought a soft tire to the racetrack, so expecting two and a half to four seconds of tire fall off. So that should make strategy quite interesting if you want to undercut or overcut. Draft is also going to be a big factor in that, as without draft down, you know, from out of turn one, actually from about out of turn two, turn three, you are pretty much foot to the floor. So draft very crucial through those sections as for the time being Ryan Reed is holding on to the race lead Griffin Lapo McDermott looking to clear Jerry Cook for second place and he will do so into turn six now setting his sights on Ryan Reed for the race lead it has not been the start to the season the Mitsubishi camp has expected to have Revolution Racing, of course, as of note, both trucks were in Go or Go Home qualifying this weekend. Nelson Reeves and Kyle Seustry both, though, made it in to the show. Cali DeGarmo for North Border was the one truck that did not qualify this weekend as they were too low in the provisional order. So Jared Vereshkin getting to make his second start today on the season. Volunteer Motorsports, we've seen mixed results out of the four and the nine. It's Griffin Maple McDermott for Martin Motorsports, the flagship Mitsubishi team going for the race lead on Ryan Reed. Griffin Maple McDermott, one of three trucks at Martin, including Edward Siemba and James Silverfox, who have both been rather inconsistent so far on the year. Ryan Reed now fighting back on GLM's left as Jerry Cook, Fitzwater Jr. racing it out for third right behind these two. But for now, Ryan Reed will hold on to the race lead. This is Griffin Label McDermott's hometown track here in New York at Watkins Glen. Uh, we'll also be back up here for Oswego later this season. So two hometown tracks for the New York drivers. As we'll scan through the field, find your other New York drivers while also going through the running order. You see a lot of drivers haven't really been able to make much headway, uh, likely due to the extent the draft plays a role here. It's still a ton of fall off, but draft being very crucial. How about Nelson Reeves? So before we get to the hometown guys, Reeves with a good qualifying effort today, so far holding strong in 15th place. Talked about Aria Carmona on the starting grid. Won at Cleveland a couple years ago in Hardy. She's running 18th. Luke Martin did not have a good qualifying ever. He's back here 21st. Michael Miller, another hometown driver in 22nd. J.D. Martin, not from New York, but 
team based out of New York. They're running 23rd. Eric Monaco sitting in 27th. Seth Cole, 29th. And Jeff Bolton in 30th. As I believe that is all of our hometown drivers. See at the back of the field right now, Angel Gutierrez, Jared Vereshkin at the tail of the field. Brian Reed holding on strong so far as we are on lap number eight of 32. Jerry Cook looking for the race lead here once again on Ryan Reed, making the move early here down in the turn six. Griffin Lapel McDermott's going to make it three wide for the race lead. Reed, Cook, McDermott, Mercedes, Honda, Mitsubishi. Three wide through turn six, then back to two wide out of turn seven. Give the race lead to Jerry Cook. As now GLM under fire, he's going to be about put three wide by Fitzwater Jr. and Noah Hart. And GLM goes from third to fourth. Hart not quite done yet. As we've seen Hart, Sanders, and BBJ all starting to put pressure on the top four. Trying to get themselves to move forward. So another Breeding Enterprises truck, and Hannah Allen has entered the top 10. But now back under pressure by Daniel Bouchard in the 30. Bouchard will go back and take that 10th spot. Now Noah Hart looking to the left side of Griffin Lapo McDermott for fourth place. See, can Hart complete the pass here off of seven? And he will have it at the start finish line. Now, Lane Sanders going to make it three wide in the turn one on McDermott and Hart. See, who does this move benefit? The last time someone made a three-wide move, it did not benefit the one that made the move. And that appears to be the case once again. Sanders has to back out big time up the S's, but it allows Hart to take fourth place away from McDermott nonetheless. Sanders now side-by-side -side with Bradley Bishop Jr. No draft to Sanders here, but still holding strong side-by-side -side with the 88. Behind them, William Brock following Bouchard past Hannah Allen. It's Fitzwater Jr. looking for second place from teammate Ryan Reed. Remember Fitzwater Jr., two-time Supercars champion before making the jump right on over here to the FBRL at the young age of 18. And showing that he's got speed here on the road courses. Qualified third today. All over Jerry Cook, another sports car guy who came into the FBRO last year. Showed great pace in his first race at Road Atlanta. Has not quite been able to make consistent results though. And is still looking for his first trip to victory lane. Of course, last season was with Martin Motorsports. And he has made the jump over here to single C at Honda. Honda, the flagship, uh, Honda's flagship team here in the truck series is single Z, but they have not had the success uh, they have been expecting. And uh, you got to think time is ticking as this is the last season in the Napa truck series. And you got to think Honda would be very disappointed if they go the entire year without a win. Noah Hart making a move on Ryan Reed for third place, and he is going to take it as it looks like Jerry Cook and Ryan Reed are going to come down pit road here. Lap 13 coming to 14. Pit stops are officially underway. As 
we bring up the overlay tire wear reaching two seconds there that time by so with the draft you're seeing these drivers be able to minimize a lot of fall off Give the race lead to Fitzwater Jr. as those two from first and third pit. Been an incident free race so far. And nobody else coming down pit road with them. Lap we'll to see here. Will everyone else come to pit road coming to lap 15 here? Or will we see some drivers perhaps go another lap? and solidify an even greater overcut strategy. Noah Hart closing up on Fitzwater Jr. as Lane Sanders looks to the left of Griffin Lape of McDermott. Perhaps the 18 and the 55 are going to choose not to pit here as Noah Hart looks to take the lead. No, they are going to pit. Hart will concede to Fitzwater Jr. here as it's a tight entrance in the pit road. Just going to miss those tires. So Fitzwater Jr. will lead him in the pit road as we see several drivers staying out. Hannah Allen, Arya Carmona, Michael Miller, Riker Haverman, Austin Runkel. And that appears to be it. Everyone else is making the long journey down the hill that is pit road. So Hannah Allen, she was just outside the top 10. And Allen trying to do something different from her teammate in Noah Hart. Remember, Hart took the points lead away from Allen after California. Hart coming into this race with a 13-point lead over Hannah. 48-point lead over Richard Johnson. Still very early in the championship, but these are the kinds of tracks where you're going to want to make a different strategy call than the person you're racing in the point standings. See Hannah Allen gonna lead the rest of the field in the pit road as Jerry Cook after pitting on lap 13 is now side by side with Fitzwater Jr. How about a good pit stop for Lane Sanders comes out just ahead of Ryan Reed see undercut not making big dividends as the 62 and the 44 did not have a ton of draft once they came out of pit road. So perhaps the overcut will not be such a bad call here. But Jerry Cook will hold the race lead. Ryan Reed going to look to the right side of Lane Sanders here down in the turn one. As Hannah Allen leads out her group of five. Noah Hart still solidified in fifth place. AJ Jones up into sixth. Hannah Allen actually gaining some positions here up to seventh place ahead of BBJ in eighth, Bouchard in ninth, and Richard Johnson, who rounds out the top 10. As we have had a bit of a pit stop shuffle. Carmona 11th, DJ Curtis 12th, Brock 13th. How about Michael Miller up to 15th? Riker Haverman all the way up to 16th. They are three wide in the carousel behind Griffin Lapel McDermott, who has lost a good amount of positions here. GLM now outside of the top 15 with Silver Fox, Austin Rogers, and Chase Marks right on his bumper. Remember, Austin Rogers won an inversion race here at Watkins Glen back in 2021 or no was it 2022 2022 the years are blending together guys i'm 27 now i'm old i can't remember anything 
So you got JD Martin here, 21st. Runkel seems to have gained some positions up to 22nd. Can't say the same for teammate Delello, who's down to 23rd. This is Chase Dunbar's final race in the 21. Final race for the 21, actually, on the season. So that is a part-time team. See, Monaco rounds out the top 25. Man, Luke Martin has not been having a good day. He's down to 29th now. As so we look outside the top. 30. Heck, outside the top 35, you'll find Ricky Freeman Jr., 41st. Aiden Carlton, I'm sorry, Ricky Freeman Jr., 40th. Aiden Carlton, 41st. And Siemba, 42nd. As back at the front of the field, Zachary Fitzwater Jr. has gone to the race lead as Jerry Cook has fallen all the way to the back of this train to 4th. And behind them, Noah Hart and A.J. Jones our nose to tail trying to push themselves up towards this main pack so that they too might have a chance to race for the win. Want to show you just how much of a run a driver can get on the truck in front. Watch Fitzwater Jr. as he leads over Lane Sanders. The distance closing ever so slowly down this long straightaway. But Lane Sanders with a really good entrance into turn five in the carousel, carrying a bit more speed as he goes into that patch. And look at the run. He's going to get off of turn five here. Going to go right to the left side of Fitzwater Jr. Doesn't even need to set up a run. Side by side in the turn six and give the lead to the 55 of Lane Sanders here on lap number 19. Sanders known to receive a lot of uh, joking criticism from his uh, fellow garage competitors over his win at New Zealand several years ago and how he won what was a uh, bit of a junkyard race. And that has been his only win to date. And uh, looking to maybe prove them wrong. Maybe that it wasn't such a junkyard win after all. And... He's had the talent all the time. As he now puts this Morris Motorsports 55 out front in the lead. Now remember, as Fitzwater Jr. looks to take the top spot back, he's going to get the door shut on him here by Sanders. Remember, this 55 won once already this year, the Daytona 250K, driven by Nick Breeding in that race. And now Lane Sanders looking to bring Morris Motorsports back to Victory Lane here today in New York. As uh, him and Breeding are splitting the efforts in this truck and in the 8 truck. I believe it's... I think it's uh, two... It's two and three races between both of the trucks, but I can't remember how many races each other is running in the given trucks. I think... I, 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 I already forgot. I already forgot. I'm not even going to bother trying to think about it. Jerry Cook's been falling back away from these top three, and A.J. Jones has driven by Noah Hart in the fifth place. And the Shark House Performance trucks are the fastest on the board. William Brock, a 112.616. Jones, a .797. And Jones with a big run here down the long straight. Not sure if he's close enough to make a move. I think he pulled out a little early. But should have a good shot here off of turn five to set up another move on the 62. As he closes the distance, he's going to make the move here right into the breaking zone of turn six. Move the 42 of AJ Jones up in the fourth place. Fitzwater Jr. fighting back against Lane Sanders as AJ Jones is looking to the left of Ryan Reed. As Ryan Reed is going to pit here on lap 22. So the split strategy has begun. Noah Hart, Jerry Cook are going to follow him in. We knew nobody was going to be able to make it on fuel. And this is where the strategy play comes in the in the factor. As I believe I see Griffin Lapel McDermott there at the back of the screen pitting as well.
Tristan Grace in the 89 pitting with these. And I believe I'm hearing, can't really see him in the shrubs there, but Angel Gutierrez is in and Edward Siemba in pit lane as well. Fitzwater Jr. has taken the top spot back, but here comes Lane Sanders with A.J. Jones right behind them. Jones, a known road course talent. Looking for what would be his first win of 2024 here today would be Jones. Jones also comes into this race tied for most top 10s all time in series history at 37 top 10s with Ryan Butcher. And AJ looking to break that tie today and score his 38th career top 10 and be the lone man on top in the top 10s department. Sanders will lead in Fitzwater Jr. followed by AJ Jones as it looks like Everyone else is going to come in here. No third group to not this time. No third group this time, I'm seeing. That's going to really bottleneck pit road. Somebody surely could have benefited from going one more lap. But no one is going to do so. Ryan Reed out first, Noah Harp right behind in second, but Jerry Cook with a awful pit stop has lost touch with the two he pit with. Lane Sanders first off of pit road, Fitzwater Jr. will come out side by side with AJ Jones. And we'll have to concede the position to the 42. Looks like this group had a better lap staying out one more time. And Ryan Reed currently slots into third. Noah Hart in fifth. But Lane Sanders way out in front with no draft to be seen. That's going to really let Jones and Reed get a huge run set up on them. The pit stop cycle is now complete. Reed going to take a look on Jones here for second place. Ryan has had pace all day long. Looking for what would be his first career Napa Truck Series win. He's going to have to go up to Lane Sanders and take it from him. Eight laps to go here at Watkins Glen. Sanders in the lead, Reed second, Jones third, Hart with a huge send on Fitzwater Jr. for fourth. Hannah Allen in sixth, Jerry Cook seventh, Bradley Bishop Jr. eighth, Richard Johnson ninth, and DJ Curtis rounds out the top ten. So right now, Freeze Racing Team, all of their trucks here in the top ten. Carmona has... Risen to 11th, Bouchard 12th, Reeves 13th, Brock despite all the pace hasn't really been able to go anywhere, he still sits 14th, Michael Miller, Austin Rogers, Griffin Lee McDermott, Haberman, Silver Fox, Chase Marks the top 20, Delello 22nd, how about Toby Christie up to 24th, Runkle down to 27th now. Luke Martin still 29th. Cameron Lassard down to 34th. Siemba has gained a couple spots. He's up to 40th, but Ricky Freeman Jr. has not gone anywhere. Side-by-side -side battle for second place between Jones and Reed. Back at the front of the field as Hart cleared Fitzwater Jr. for fourth. And A.J. Jones will clear Ryan Reed for second place. And now we'll have to see if he can set his sights on catching Lane Sanders. But the draft playing a big factor here. Third truck in line always gets the biggest run. But Reed staying in line, pushing Jones down the straightaway, trying to get both of them to catch the 55 of Lane Sanders. 
And you can see what kind of pace these guys have just from the laps they're setting. And a lot of them, unfortunately, are draft laps. You see Luke Martin is third on the lap chart despite running 29th. Same for Christie and Bolton. J.D. Martin, Benjamin Snyder, all top 10 on the lap chart, but not in the top 10 itself. Six laps to go. Sanders still leads the way. Can anyone do something about him winning this race? Well, I'll tell you who's got something to say, and it's the 18 of Noah Hart. Pit on the same lap as Ryan Reed, but he's going to make a move to get by the 44 here. Off of turn seven, coming the four laps to go. And slot the 18 of Noah Hart up into third. Now, how about the season Noah has had so far? He leads the points. He won at Phoenix. Three top fives, four top tens. He's the only driver with a top ten finish in every race so far. And he's looking to keep that statistic alive today. Other drivers that would have a top ten in every race but one coming into today with three top tens was Hannah Allen, A.J. Jones, and Ricky Freeman Jr. If a miracle occurs and the whole field wrecks, Ricky Freeman Jr. will get that top ten, but otherwise the only ones continuing that uh, top ten in every race except one race will be the 42 of A.J. Jones, who sits in second, and the 48 of Hannah Allen, who's got really good odds as she sits in sixth. You see D.J. Curtis down in tenth as Bouchard and Carmona likely will not catch this grouping. As now, right as we go away, Noah Hart drives right on by A.J. Jones for second place. And Noah looking to become the first driver to win two races on the season. Toyota has been very dominant so far this year. Three wins to start the season. And the only win not on the season for Toyota coming last time out in California. As Richard Johnson got his first win of the season. But even if Noah doesn't win, this is great for him because he is currently the highest running full-time driver. So he is gaining points on everybody right now. Five truck pack here. The Freeze Racing Team truck sitting fourth, fifth, and tenth. Still a great race here for Ryan Reed and Fitzwater Jr. Try and get some momentum going as next time out we're heading to the Springfield Dirt Mile at the Illinois State Fairgrounds. And that track is always fast, crazy action and can deliver some pretty big accidents that you are going to want to avoid if you are in the championship fight. And if you are chasing the 18 of Noah Hart, you're going to want Noah Hart to be in one of those accidents so you can close some ground because it is still early. But man, with the runs Noah has been having this season, he could be hard to catch here sooner or later. AJ Jones, though, goes right back on by him, taking second place back. Now Jones, can Jones do something to set up a run for the win here? And past Lane Sanders. He's taken a peek here down the long straightaway into the carousel. But he's not quite close enough to make that move. Reed and Fitzwater Jr. They're both a little ways behind Noah Hart here. Hart closing back up on Jones. If he makes a move on Jones, that could seal the deal for Lane Sanders winning this thing. Through turn seven, we're going to come to the white flag. One more lap to go here at Watkins Glen. Can Lane Sanders hold off A.J. Jones and earn his second career in Apple Truck Series victory? I think the main answer, or the answer itself, it's a two-part question. First question, turn five. Can you put a move on him there? If not, can you put a move on him in turn six. Sanders though with a great S's section here increases the gap back to AJ Jones.
into the carousel. Jones not quite close enough. Can he set up a run here down the turn six? Jones closing, maybe, maybe keeping the distance even. He's not close enough. Through turn six and into turn seven. They said it was a fluke, but can they call it a fluke now? Lane Sanders is going to get win number two of his Napa Truck Series career, and he's going to do it here at Watkins Glen International. AJ Jones will come home P2. That'll gain him some points in the championship on Noah Hart, but Hart finishes right behind him in third. Which means it's not gonna be a lot of points as perhaps Jones would have wished it. But man, for Jones who started at the back of the top 10 to finish second, quite a drive for him today. Ryan Reed in fourth, Fitzwater Jr. in fifth. Hannah Allen, Bradley Bishop Jr. Jerry Cook from the pole finishes in 8th. Richard Johnson, ninth, And DJ Curtis rounds out the top 10. So Freeze Racing Team with all three trucks inside the top 10. Is, what is Griffin Lapel McDermott doing up here running at full speed? Did Griffin Lapel McDermott have a problem? The only thing I can guess is that he has not taken the checkered yet, which he was running inside the top 20, I thought. Oh, no. So something must have... Oh, wow. It looks like something happened to several drivers. Ben McDonald, Bradley Ream, and Griffin Lapel McDermott all seem to have had some kind of problem. But I'm not hearing it. Benjamin Snyder included, too, in the 08. But I'm not seeing any damage on these trucks, so I'm assuming they were not good on gas, which is... Crazy, because with where everyone pit, they had to put in less gas at 10 to go um, than they did around the halfway point. So, shocking, unfortunate turn of events for Griffin Label McDermott, who was running inside the top 20. McDonald, Ream, and Snyder were all kind of either just outside the top 30 or inside the top 30. So they did not lose a lot, but they still likely did not want to lose anything. Benefited some drivers, though. Ricky Freeman Jr., Edward Siemba getting some more points out of that. That put Cameron Lassard back in the top 30. And I believe likely gave Chase Marks a top 20. But man, oh man, that is uh that's a, such a such a shame when something like that's out of the driver's control and they don't they don't get it full of gas. Well, that is gonna do it for me here at Watkins Glen. Lane Sanders is your winner. Uh, that's the second part-time win on the season. And Toyota, four for five on the year, man. Two wins for Morris Motorsports this season, two for two. And we'll have to see if they can make it three for three. I forget where the heck they're racing next, but uh, we'll find out at some point. As here comes Griffin Label McDermott, man, after qualifying in the top five, not the result that team wanted at all. I'll see y'all guys next time at the Springfield Dirt Mile for some crazy dirt kicking action. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. Cause I've been blasting and laughing so long that even my mama thinks that my mind is gone. But I ain't never crossed a man that didn't deserve it. Me be treated like a punk, you know that's unheard of. You better watch how you're talking and where you're walking. Or you and your homies might be lying and chalk. I really hate the trip, but I gotta lope. As they croak, I see myself in the pistol smoke, fool. I'm the kind of cheater the little homies want to be like on my knees in the night, saying prayers in the street light.
look at the situation they got me facing. I can't live a normal life. I was raised by the state, so I gotta be damn with the hood team. Too much television watching got me chasing dreams. I'm an educated fool with money on my mind. Got my tin in my hand and a gleam in my eye. I'm a loped out gangster, set tripping banker. And my homies is down, so don't arouse my anger. Fool, death ain't nothing but a heartbeat away. I'm living life to a dire. What can I say? I'm 23 now, but will I live to see 24 the way things is going? I don't know. Tell me 